A new spin on rehabilitation. In addition to helping people regain mobility, there's a new program at Moss Rehab in Philadelphia that's helping people feel good about how they look. Well, health reporter Stephanie Stahl shows us how this all works. Make sure you blend a little bit more right there. Tiffany Gill has learned a new way to apply makeup. It really restored my sense of self. This Rutgers University history professor is slowly reassembling her life after having a stroke two years ago. She was 46. Eventually, I woke up and the entire left side of my body was paralyzed. She had a variety of other stroke side effects. I didn't know if I'd ever teach again. I didn't know if I'd ever get use of my limbs again. So much was uncertain. She says she got her life back at Moss Rehab with intense physical and occupational therapy. Once she regained the ability to move, Tiffany was eager to join a special Moss program called Groom, Glow and Grow that teaches people with disabilities adaptive ways to apply makeup. It was something that made me feel better, but it was also something that helped me to improve and helped me to improve mobility. The makeup and grooming sessions were developed by therapists at Moss who are also makeup artists. It just gives people a sense of feeling good about themselves, something they control. Occupational therapist Stephanie Stein says there are a variety of ways to teach patients how to steady and move their hands and arms and their special gear. For weakness, We've had, we have adapted makeup brushes, so putting on a thicker tubing on a small brush so you can use a bigger grasp. Tiffany says she's finally back to work feeling good about how she looks. It seems trivial, right? You know, after you've had a stroke and you can barely walk, your speech is impaired, and you don't know if you're going to be able to work again. But one thing you do think about is, like, who you are. And for me, I, I like to look my best. It's all about building self-esteem and confidence, which doctors say is a critical part of rehab. I'm Stephanie Stahl, CBS News, Philadelphia.